Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another piano lesson with Warren. My name is Warren McPherson. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Today, I want to talk about 251 passing chords. A lot of you have asked me questions about this and asked if I could do a tutorial on 251 passing. And so today, I want to break down some information, give you some of the basics and some of the standard practice of 251. Okay. So when you hear someone say A2, 5, 1, that could apply to a major key or a minor key. For example, if I take C minor, and I want to do a 2, 5, 1 in the key of C minor, I just did 2, 5, 1. My 2, because I'm in a minor key, my 2, is a half diminished or the minor 7 flat 5 chord. And the 5 is just a G7 with a sharp 5 and a sharp 9. And then back to my 1 chord. And this is just a C minor 9, a 1 chord. So that's a 2 5 1 in a minor key. My 2 is going to be some form of a diminished. My 5 is going to be a dominant 7th. Maybe I put some sharp 5 or a sharp 9. And my one is going to be a minor chord because I'm in a minor key. If I'm in a major now, let's say take C major, and I do the same thing. Two, five, one. This time my two is minor because I'm in a, ma a major key. My five is still dominant seventh. This time I'm playing a thirteenth. I could have just played a regular dominant seventh, but I played a thirteenth resolve to a minor, a major ninth. So the first concept or the first rule you want to remember is that a 2-5-1 can, can apply to about a major key and a minor key. If you're in a minor key, your 2 should be diminished. That's not an absolute rule, but because we're looking at just the basics, we'll keep it diminished. If you're in a major key, we keep the 2 as a straight minor. The one that remains uh, consistent is the 5. The 5 is always going to be a dominant 7th. Yes, you can alter it by putting in flat 9, sharp 9, sharp 5, and so on. But the core chord is basically a dominant 7th chord. And the 1 chord is your resolution chord. So whatever key you're in, if it's major and it's a 1 chord, then the resolution chord is going to be major. If it's minor key, then the 1 chord is going to be minor. You resolve to a minor. So 2-5-1. 2, minor, 5, major, back to 1, minor or major based on what key you're in. So that's the first thing I want to clear up for you guys. So now I'm going to show you some of the common places you can use 2-5-1. Uh, the first one is going from a 5 to a 1. And the song I was playing in the opening, There is a fountain Filled with blood, drawn from Emmanuel's vein. That's just a stripped down version. The melody starts. What if I want to harmonize? My first chord. I can do something like. And what I did there, I just went to the B flat minor and I put the C. So now that becomes a B flat minor 9. That's my 2 chord right there. Then my 5. And I'm doing a sort of like a 5 sus. And then I go back to the 1. And so, there is, there is, I just used a 2-5-1 passing right there. Let's check out some other spots. Is a fountain filled with blood. Now a general place you can always use a 2-5-1 is when you go into a 4. When you're on a 1 chord, my 1 chord is A flat going to a 4. 
a fountain field. So I did a two, five, one going to four there. So what did I just do? So basically, when you're doing two, five, ones, it's all about where you are and where you're trying to go. And in between, you're doing a two, five, one. Now, the where you want to go, the destination chord, it's in that key that we're doing the two, five, one. Sounds confusing, but let me break it down for you. A flat, right? We're going to a D flat. Now, what is two, five, one in the key of D flat? If I temporarily think of D flat as my one, my two now is B E flat minor, my five would be A flat, and my one land me on my D flat. And so I do a two, five, one in the key of D flat because I'm going to a D flat. So there is a fountain field, and you see I end up on my D flat with blood. And I can do this again. Drawn from, I just did now, two, five, one again, in the key of A flat. And so that's basically what two, five, one is. Your destination chord, the chord that you're trying to get to, the two, five, one comes from that key. And so it's like temporarily modulating between keys when we use two, five, one passing chords. Where you are, where you're trying to go, do a two, five, one in the key that you're trying to go. Look at it again. Because in the key of A flat, E flat is major, yeah? E flat is a dominant seventh chord. But because I'm doing a two, five, one in the key of D flat, I have to make this five chord minor to make it fit as the two, five, one. Again, there is a fire. Look at that, I just did a walk up right there. It's just a walk up, B flat minor, back to A flat, but in root position. Okay, getting off track. Let me get back on track. There is a fountain filled with blood. Now, the other thing is, rhythmically, you can play around with how you're going to play the 2 5 one. So look up the two options. You can do, there is a fountain filled with blood. Or you can do, there is a fountain field. So I waited a little bit and then I squeezed those two chords and to each his, um, um, his own. You can play around whichever way feels good with you. What you have to remember is that 251 comes from will come from the destination chord because you're doing a two, five, one to get to that chord in that key. Let's look at some other places you can use two, five, one. Um, you can use a two, five, one whenever you're going to a six. So if I'm on a one and I'm going to a six, yeah? Where, how, how do I fit a two, five, one? Well, first you gotta figure out what the chords are. Now, based on the rule, your destination chord, that's the key you're gonna do a two, five, one in. So if my six is F minor, I need to do a two, five, one in the key of F minor. So my two now becomes G half diminished seven or G minor seven flat five, C seven to F minor seven. And so how does this fit in the song? Um, there is a fountain filled with blood Drawn from Emmanuel's vein 
So you see I went to six there, so look how I'm gonna fit a two, five, one up in there right now. So there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's vein. Yeah? Drawn from So I did the And then to my two And my two is delayed And sin Nurse plunge Two five again Beneath the flood Lose all Guilty stains. And so those are the places you can use two five ones. There are a lot more places. You can pretty much use two five one going anywhere. But I'm gonna keep it to that for you guys. I'm just gonna keep it right there. Practice two five ones when you have a one going to a four. Or when you're going to a six. Sometimes we use those in conjunction. We do. Yeah. So I'm going to play out this song and I'm going to show you some of the chords that I was using. There is a passing chord. See that? There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's vein and sinners plunged beneath that flood lose all their guilt stains lose all you can do to guilt stains So guys, lots of possibilities. Go play around with some 251. Just remember, it's all about where you are, where you're going. Your destination chord is the key that you're going to do the 251 in. If you have any questions about this, please leave comments below. If you have any ideas or any additional thoughts, please leave comments below in the comments section. I'll be sure to join in the discussion. I'll be releasing a course on 251 that's going to be a lot more in-depth. Um, it's going to start from beginner and it's going to go all the way up to some advanced stuff. So keep your eye out for that on my website at Piano Lesson with Warren. Um, I also have additional content over there, so visit it and, and check it out. Thank you again for watching. Keep singing, keep listening, keep practicing. Be sure to follow me on social media and Instagram and Facebook. I uh, post stuff over there occasionally, especially on Facebook. I am more active there than Instagram with all kind of content. So thanks again for watching and catch you in the next tutorial. Have a good one.
and sinners plunged beneath the flood lose all the guilt to saints lose all we can do to guilt to Beneath the full lose all to give.